Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about this. This is a fixture I whipped up and 3D printed for the 3040. As a matter of fact, it should work with the 3020, the 3060, any um, basic CNC that has this type of um, ribbed or fluted table. So the idea is, is this takes and allows me to mount this three-jaw chuck. Notice... Uh, down here I've used T-nuts to attach it to this base and then this base attaches to the center. Now a while ago I demonstrated how you could attach this with two bolts using these same T-nuts to this bed. This allows me to use all three and also gives me a little bit more adjustability uh, to set things up. Also in the placement of my um, I'm not sure what you call these things, but whatever you call these things, as you can see, it's at the front, and I can get at it with the uh, check key, so tensioners, what have you. So uh, I printed this out of PETG, and this is pretty stable. I did this at about 25% infill, uh, and I used these T-nuts, and I'll have a link to these down below, uh, to actually cinch this to the table. And then I also used the T-nuts, which they fit very nicely in here, to attach the... Um, uh, chuck to the, the base. Now, I designed this in OpenSCAD, and up in the corner I'll be showing some OpenSCAD um, shots of this because I also put a recessed ring that, that receives into the back of the chuck to keep it straight and also provides for extra rigidity and also saves all the plastic for this space here because, you know, why print that out? Uh, so let's go ahead and let's slide this out and I want to show you guys a couple things, you know, because what might you use this for and that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and let's uh, attach this to the, the uh, CNC. Okay, so we've got this slipped down. Now, what what the fixture does is, uh, you know, centers this because these, I believe, are 30 millimeters on center. So this is 90 millimeters, I believe, to each side here, and it allows it to slide on. Now, uh, some of these are a little bit difficult because you notice I might have had a little difficulty sliding it in because there's um, these little bolts in here which actually hold this uh, aluminum face you down to the uh, aluminum substructure here. So that's one of the reasons to use these to slide under it. Otherwise you have to slide in one of the um, uh, openings where there aren't uh, any. And it's kind of a pain because you know where these two butt up you have screw heads. But anyways, so what would you use this for? Well one of the things I plan on using this for is coin art because one of the things if you look back that I've done with this is actually CNC uh, coins, in other words, um, different uh, patterns into coins. So what I can do is, for example, I can take this coin, I can chuck this up very nicely, and then all I have to do is cinch this down. And uh, what I kind of do is do it kind of crossways and just cinch this down. Now, one of the things I would actually do is move this a little bit further back, but I want to leave it up here just for uh, demonstration purposes. Now, the other piece that I would do, you notice how far down this is, I would actually have to loosen these two bolts. You um, can see the bottom one here, but I'd loosen up this carriage and then raise the, the uh, uh, spindle up to clear this. And this bottom piece down here clears this piece pretty well. So I'm, I'm pretty good there. And again, this is going to be for sort of more low profile uh, pieces like this. Now, as mentioned in the other video, I have ordered another chuck, a lower profile chuck that actually sits a little bit uh, lower than this one, obviously. And so I get some more clearance over here so I can have a larger uh, piece. But this actually works very good for this type of stuff. So watch for some stuff in the near future where I, you know, demonstrate its use and things like that. But I wanted to share this with you guys, and it's especially cost-effective if you have one of these Chinese routers, uh, CNCs, that have come with a fourth axis. You know, these are about 85 bucks, and it is a pretty good chuck. So uh, to do something like this, why not reuse it? Now, you can see I got some aluminum over here. I actually was going to machine one of these out of aluminum and I still might do that in the future um, and if I do that in the future obviously for the retainers that I used to hold the chuck on I'll just tap into the aluminum rather than uh, put the T-nuts on the back side 
but this has worked pretty darn well. Now again, you're not going to make aerospace parts with this or anything like that, but you know, messing around with coins and different stuff like this, it's, it's, it's very rigid. I don't have this totally bolted down, so it moved a little bit. But if you, if you tighten this fully down, this thing really doesn't move. So you have to put a lot of torque into it to actually uh, get it to flex. So, uh, you know, I think it's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. The other piece that you could do is instead of aluminum if you wanted to you could also take this piece and machine it out of um, you know some heavier acrylic or heavier piece of plastic or something like that and I think that would work just as well because I think what I'll do is up on Thingiverse not only will I put the STL for this I'll put a bottom and a top um, uh, DFX out there so if you want to see and see something like this uh, you know to use you can do that so you just do it as a two-sided operation cut the top cut the back I don't know if I would do the recessed ring on on the front if you're gonna do that because I mean that's just a whole big pocketing operation you could use you know a six millimeter bit to go through it pretty quick so up to you guys I'll put the files out there and, and you know let me know if you do do it you know what you think of it uh, you know should the pocket be there or not so anyways Hopefully you found this of interest, of value. Again, it'll be out on Thingiverse, so don't forget uh, to hit the bell over there. Well, actually, you got to go down and hit the bell. The bell over there is just a reminder because I put out regular content. Also, don't forget to be a subscriber. And also, Swag Shop's going to be up in the corner, and we'll catch you guys in the next video where we do something with this. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.